<laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> nice to see you. We are in the um, one of the most exciting holiday seasons, and um, we have a gift for you. Yep. Actually, we've got two. So stay with us till the end because um, I know you're gonna like the second one even more. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yes. Um, the first gift is um, some knowledge. It's uh, something that has to do with twin flames and the Christ consciousness. Um, because um, perhaps you all know that uh, they are very much interconnected. Mm -hmm. And uh, very often, uh, the people who speak about twin flames, they also speak about uh, uh, Christ, the Christ consciousness. Uh, but uh, what we feel is that the focus there is not quite um, on the spot. Well, it's almost like, it is just like they say, uh, Christmas is for children mainly, because uh, we are just scratching the surface. Almost, not even the surface, it's really... Uh, a story for children because the truth is so much deeper than, than all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, to be honest, I uh, was never into before I met uh, <laughs> me <laughs> this being here. Uh, I was never into uh, like Jesus Christ. Um, you know, the story about him. Uh, even the knowledge behind uh, uh, Jesus Christ is uh, not just as a personality, but as a as an idea, as a notion. But uh, you were quite uh, into this uh, before, even before meeting me. In I don't know how it is in the other countries, but in Portugal it's a big thing. The presépio. I don't know how you say in English. It's technically <coughs> a presentation of. Uh, it's very beautiful. The preparation of the birth of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, you can make uh, however you want as a painting or uh, with a tiny Small figurines. tiny figures with the three uh, mages, right? Uh, there's also... Uh, or magis. Yeah, magis. Sorry. Yeah. And there's also um, Mary, of course. And there's Joseph, and there's uh, Jesus as a tiny baby. Mm -hmm. And you can make with moss, uh, grass, or whatever you want. Like, it's a it's a, a big thing in Portugal, and we even make it uh, live presepio. So, uh, there's a... They can make, like, with the people that are big, with wax, or real people. It's very deep. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's literally in every house that they have this small decoration, at least. And um, it is very cute. <laughs> um, but uh, the truth is that um, uh, there's a, a lie to a certain extent into all this, into the idea of Christmas, of how we celebrate it. It is correct and at the same time not exactly because, again, we have the interference of the lower astral, yep. just like um, everywhere else. And uh, uh, to be honest, we started realizing with time that um, the truth is being revealed in many of the movies nowadays. And that is made on purpose. It's like, it's obvious, but at the same time, you still have to think, to, uh, to figure out. It's like you have to read between the lines. And because um, it's in a movie, you cannot really use it as a proof. Everyone is going to joke about your face that you're mm -hmm. uh, like exposing and stuff. There's nothing to expose because it's just a movie. So, but the truth right. is still there. Yeah. Uh, so let's jump to Harry Potter. That's, that was my favorite movie uh, of all times before I uh, met Andre. It still is one of my favorite, I think. Perhaps still is my most favorite. I don't know. Um, and uh, if you have watched it, uh, all the parts, uh, what do they say at the end? Um, when the time comes, the boy has to die. And uh, Harry uh, realizes this at the end, that he actually has to give in to be killed. And 
that's a part of the process. Mm -hmm. It had to be this way. Why? Because a particle of the evil of the soul of Voldemort was living in him. And uh, if he would not die, this last particle of Voldemort will always live. Yep. I also want to say that it's not just in the Harry Potter movie, there's mm -hmm. also in others. Uh, we made a video before about uh, hidden um, twin flame, mm, like hidden mm -hmm. twin flame revelation in movies. And uh, one of them is uh, uh, The Hunger Games. And if you have watched as well, in the second or third, I think maybe it is at the end of the second uh, movie that uh, the main character also has to die in order to change everything. You, it, it's like this. You have to kill the bad within the good. Uh -huh. This scenario is actually present in quite a few movies. There's many movies. Uh, that are on a similar topic nowadays. And uh, I also want to say that uh, the reason being of uh, showing uh, in all the movies, in as many movies as possible, uh, especially the mainstream movies, to show to all the people, is because uh, uh, the Lord Arsenal really wants to be acknowledged. It wants to mm -hmm. uh, present itself to the world. It's enough uh, already hiding. to... Yeah, the <laughs> hiding. The, the Lord Arsenal is already strong enough and it wants to jump in and to reveal itself. Because even if uh, we counter it, we as a whole, uh, it's not going to back off that easily because it has a ton of power mm -hmm. now. That will be one of the main topics uh, on the next year, actually. Uh, and we will start to see it more and more. Uh, it will be quite of an interesting year, yep. I think, 2023. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, where all this leads us to? Jesus had to die. Um, in order for the new Jesus to be born. Uh, in the ancient Bulgarian knowledge, um, all this is also incorporated in the traditions, which uh, also were taken care, you know, to uh, slowly start to vanish with time. They are still kept in a few parts of Bulgaria, but uh, you almost cannot find them in their original state. They have been um, amended to a very big extent. Uh, so, if you go all the way back to the ancient Bulgarian knowledge, uh, what do they say? The people were celebrating the uh, winter solstice. The 21st of December was the zero day uh, because the ancient Bulgarian calendar was based on the sun, as the calendar nowadays is based on the moon cycles. Yeah, so there's a very big lag between uh, uh, the historical uh, calendar, the proper calendar, mm -hmm. and the uh, nowadays calendar. Mm -hmm. Now there's a lag in between. It's not, uh, it's not small. Yes. It's a few days. And uh, let's connect things together. If we go to human design, most of the uh, archetypes of human design, uh, they are sun. Sun types. Uh, with the exclusion of the reflector, which is um, a moon type. So they're connected with the moon while all the other types are connected with the sun. Uh, and that's how originally Earth was created. The people that were residing Earth, uh, they have been connected with the sun. That is the element of fire, mm -hmm. the light that we speak about. So what happens during the winter solstice? As we said, uh, during the, 20, the 21st of December was counted as the zero day. Because uh, if you are based on the uh, cycle of the sun, uh, there's one extra day because we have these 365 days, mm -hmm. right? Um, and from the 21st onwards, uh, there's like a period of three days when the sun is almost in the same position. That's the winter solstice. And from that time on, which is tonight, the sun starts to grow and what they say in the ancient Bulgarian traditions is the old fire dies and the new fire steps in and is being born. Sounds like in the Olympics uh, 
they always mm -hmm. come like a with person the with a fire to mm -hmm. uh, make a bigger fire. So yeah. exactly, mm -hmm. uh, it is actually very well known in uh, ancient knowledge that the fire is um, literally the first element from where creation starts. That's the seed. Uh, and uh, that's why we are celebrating so much the birth of the new fire now. Because it's many things together. There's uh, the symbolism of Jesus, there's also the sun, the, the calendar mm -hmm, itself, mm -hmm. and uh, a new year, proper new year. On a bigger scale, we are talking about the Christ Consciousness. And uh, Twin Flames is about entering in the Christ Consciousness. And that's what we are here for. That's why we came together, all these couples, during these times where we are transitioning. And it's almost like we are experiencing the same thing on a bigger scale. The old fire has to die for the new fire. To be born. It also means uh, your problems have to finally be cleansed or they are going to get cleansed for you so that um, you can uh, uh, rebirth you and your partner. It also symbolizes for this because fire, twin flames, flame is, a, is also carrying exactly. the fire. Just the, you know, the, uh, the symbolism we are using here, twin flames. Mm-hmm. We the are helping flame. the fire to renovate itself mm -hmm. by sticking together. Because if we are not sticking together, we are just a, a twin, That's a, it. a soul actually wandering around. Mm -hmm. uh, a soul that is uh, trying to choose between soul. Shall I stay with my soulmate or a regular person or a twin flame? Uh, twin flame becomes part of the helping with this fire and you know, not to transition. And, uh, exactly. So what we are, what is happening right now for many of us, I know you're having difficulties, but that's because exactly of this, the old fire has to die first for the new fire to step in and to be born on the new age. <laughs> the topic is very deep, but uh, I we think made it as, uh, <laughs> as short as, as possible. short as possible. <laughs> it's like a resume. Yeah. And um, here comes our second present. Yes, the second present. And our second present is a message for all of you. Um, here we're going to put uh, a tarot yes. spread. It's actually three tarot cards that I drew for all of you earlier today. Uh, I didn't open them when I made the setup. Uh, so I invite you to choose a card, one of these three. Maybe we put numbers on top of them, one, two, three. Okay. Well. So choose your number of we cards. We can start from left to right when you were doing. Okay. And um, just choose the very first one that you get drawn to. I put stones on top. Um, these are gemstones so that you get drawn to your, you know, a message that vibrates not deeply to with be, you. Not to be three looking the same cards. It has to be a right. little different. Um, and um, to be able to get your message, that's going to be your Twin Flame message for 2023. <laughs> Which I'm going to publish on this video and probably will make a separate post here on YouTube um, on the 26th of uh, December after Christmas. So until then, you have these two days to choose uh, your card and to participate. Please comment down below this video uh, with the number of your choice. Yes, you need to... If you want to, uh, to enter in this contest or whatever it's called, uh, you need to comment, okay? Uh, Put the number of the card and to activate it you have to like the video as well so yeah and we're gonna choose it <laughs> so if you have any questions uh ask us below but i think it was pretty clear how yeah, we explained it, it. Mm -hmm. and uh, i hope you like your messages i already saw the cards afterwards they're quite exciting and <laughs> i hope 
they will be uh, really what you fit into and we really want to wish you a beautiful new year we're gonna have another video before the official new year how we meet it according to the contemporary calendar <laughs> nowadays yeah. so technically this new year that will come it's not really supposed to be that day but it's like this. everyone is celebrating this calendar <laughs> it's okay the most important is that we get together and yeah. we become strong during these days and don't forget about the love that's the most important thing uh, don't think just about staying with the twin flame but in trouble and problems mm -hmm. try to uh, live as light as possible M not you know too light though <laughs> ground yourself a little bit have fun and uh, focus on the love and love yourself yes. love yourself love you guys ciao ciao